Hello, beautiful people. Today we are talking about getting into Salesforce. If you've ever wanted to start learning Salesforce, then that's what this video is for. It's all about how do you get started? Where do you begin? Um, what are you even looking at? It can be really, really confusing to get started in Salesforce. So today I'm going to be walking us through some really basic, from the very bottom, beginner steps. Where do you start? What are you looking for? What even is Salesforce? So if you want to be getting started in Salesforce, then this is the perfect video to be kicking you off in the new year. So if we have a quick look here, um, jump in January is the challenge. If you are starting Salesforce in January, then I would really recommend you join this challenge. It's a bit of fun. Uh, we'll be releasing a whole heap of videos designed for beginners who want to get started in Salesforce. Um, and we're calling it Jump in January. So jump in something new, get started, and we're absolutely here to guide you through it. So if you are brand, brand new to Salesforce and you're thinking, oh my God, where do I even start? Um, then the first place that you really need to begin is in Trailhead. <laughs> so this here is Trailhead. Um, if you don't have a Trailhead account, then I would recommend that you go ahead and make one straight away. Pause this video and go ahead and create one. It doesn't take too long and I'll pop the link for Trailhead in the description below. Um, but you need to create a Trailhead account and Trailhead is kind of Salesforce education platform. It's got heaps of really awesome resources to get started in learning Salesforce. Um, it's not everything, you know, I really would recommend we're going to talk about real world projects and how to get a bit more of a challenge or some more real world experience. But Trailhead is just fantastic for getting you started as long as you know where to look. So this here is, is my Trailhead homepage. Yours might look a little different. Um, but where we want to kind of go to actually straight away is what we call playgrounds. Uh, Trailhead provides these Salesforce playgrounds, which are basically free versions of Salesforce that you can use, you can play around with. They do have some limitations, but for complete beginners who are starting out, it's really fantastic. So you kind of want to go up to your profile up here. And then you want to come down to hands on orgs. And we're just going to do a bit of a walkthrough of Salesforce to get it. So we can get an idea of what's involved and, you know, how it works and things like that. Um, so in our hands on orgs, this is where we can control all of the playgrounds that we've been using. You can see I've got a whole heap, right? I've got heaps of playgrounds. I've been doing this for a while. So I've got a bunch of different playgrounds here, but yours might look completely empty. So Regardless, you'll probably want to come up and click Create Playground. It comes up with a funky name, but you might call this, um, you know, uh, Beginning Playground or maybe Jump in Jan Playground. Sounds pretty good. So it's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and get ready. Um, and while we're here, we might as well just take a quick look around Trailhead and what's going on. So the Today page is kind of like your home page. That's where we started. Um, as you do more on Trailhead, you'll notice that we'll start to recommend you badges and recommend you things that it thinks that you're going to want to learn. So it's a pretty cool you know, starting point. They've got a point system here where you can get different rankings based on um, how many badges you have. Uh, 100 badges, I like to tell people, is a really fantastic starting point. It's such an accomplishment and it requires a lot of dedication to get to. So I would really encourage you to try and go for 100 badges. In this learn area here, we've got trails and trail mixes. All right, so trail mixes is kind of, you can create your own combination of badges. It's, it's a bit like a playlist. Um, you've got individual songs, or you can create your own playlist, or you can follow along someone else's playlist that they've created. So that's what these two here are. Uh, modules are like your individual songs. So they're little badges that you complete. And then projects are, uh, they're still badges, but they're more hands-on. So they, they require a little bit more work. They've got a whole Trailhead Live section here, which is pretty good, actually. Um, in this one, they've got a lot of video content, which is super useful, um, particularly if you're going for your exam. If 
you're interested in doing a Salesforce certification, then there's heaps here about getting certified, about um, kind of what you need to know for your exam. And a whole bunch of other stuff here. What do they have? Building your personal portfolio, um, some more complicated programming sort of things, creating your first in-app walkthrough. There's a bunch of really cool stuff here, so definitely would recommend checking that out. They've got career paths here as well. So if you're interested in looking at what careers are right for you, we'll do another video on that. Credentials, um, if you want to get certified, you can have a look here. And super badges and super sets are really, really good. I wouldn't recommend jumping into them if you're brand new, but it's a really good thing to be looking forward to. Community, you can join groups. It's kind of like a bit of a, I wouldn't call it a super, you know, active social media um, site here, but there is some really good groups here that you can join and, and ask for help and things like that. Um, and then for companies as well, if you're interested in that, then you can go and check that one out too. All right, let's check back into our playground, see if that one's done. So we'll go back to our hands-on org. All right, my jump and jam playground is finished, so I can go ahead and launch this. It's going to open up a new tab for me where we've got our brand new Salesforce playground. Now, Salesforce can be very confusing and very overwhelming if you're brand new. So don't worry if you're feeling a little bit lost when you first see all the stuff here. We're going to be going through it um, pretty quickly and uh, easily. It's not going to be you know, super overwhelming when we had to guide you through. So the first thing that you'll notice is we're in a playground starter app. Right? Our apps are the names of these parts up the top here. And this little waffle, I call it the waffle icon. I'm not too sure what it's called. It is our app launcher. So when we click on that one, you can see all of the different apps that we can go into. And we're in the Playground Starter app. So this gives us a bit of a message, you know, welcome to the Playground. We can watch this video if we like. If we wanted to do any fancy things like installing a package, you can come into here. Um, a package is like something additional that you want to add into Salesforce. We're not going to worry about that at the beginning. Get your login credentials. Um, it's always nice to know that this is here if you ever need to log in for, from somewhere that's not your Trailhead account, then this is how you can do it. But we don't need to worry about that. We can always come back to this page if we need to. So what I'd like to do here is click on this waffle and then go into sales. You can also just type it and search for it and click onto sales. Sales is a good place to start because it is Salesforce. That's the name of the, the whole kind of application, the whole company. And it was designed for salespeople first off. So going into our sales app makes a lot of sense um, because it is designed for salespeople. That is the core of Salesforce. And then everything else is kind of just exploded out from there. All right, so this is your first look at Salesforce, then welcome. Uh, there's a lot going on on this page. We're on the home page right now, which is this kind of dashboard looking area where we've got quarterly performance, <clears throat> we've got today's events, today's tasks, recent records, key deals and assistance. Um, we can go and edit all of this. All right, that's the first thing to know about Salesforce is everything you see, you can change and edit somehow. Um, but for now, we're just trying to get a bit of an understanding. So we want to understand what this is used for from an end user point of view. If you're a sales rep and you're using Salesforce, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> you know, what are you actually using it for? Um, we use it for tracking sales, right? It's a CRM first and foremost. That was the core product. And that's a customer relationship management software. And that's what it's used for um, initially. Now there's so much more that you can do. But the first job of Salesforce is to track sales. So a sale may start off as a lead, all right, which is where we have all this incoming information coming in from uh, marketing, from websites, from social media. Um, so if you go into your leads tab here, you can change this from recently viewed. This is called your list view. You can change your list view to all open leads. Uh, that will probably give you a bit of a better view. And then you can just pin this list view here. So I just click that little pin. And now it's pinned my all open lead section. 
So in here, you can see it's got some example leads for us. We didn't put these in here. They were automatically there when we got here. Um, and that's just to give us a bit of an idea of what this might look like. All right, so we can click into Bertha Boxer and we can learn a little bit about Bertha, who's a new lead. All right, hopefully this will end up being an actual sale if we were a sales rep, but for us at the moment, this is just a brand new lead. So here's our lead, here's our lead name. We've got title, company, phone numbers, emails, all that good stuff. Um, in your activity tab here, you can log all your interactions. Have you been calling Bertha? Um, do you need to write down a reminder or a new task? All right, I like to think T for task, T for to do. Yeah, uh, do you have an event coming up, like a calendar event? Do you need to send an email? This is all your communications, right, under the activity tab. In your details tab here, this is where you can see all of the details of this lead, right, name, uh, lead source, where did it come from, industry, and you can go ahead and edit all this information by clicking on these little pencils. All right, so and we have chatter, and chatter is our internal communications. So if you wanted to talk to another sales rep who is using this, maybe they've dealt with someone similar in the past, you can just at them. So if you start typing out at and then their name, um, I don't think we have any people set up here. All right, well, an integration user. <laughs> uh, obviously, you'd want to be using actual users in a real world scenario. So you might put, um, you know, Bob or um, John Smith or whoever it is. But for us, we're just doing an integration user. And you might say, uh, can you give me a hand with this? Um, you know, where, have you used something like this before? We'd really love your advice, whatever it is that you want. And then you can go ahead and click share, and that's going to notify that user. And then they get a notification, like this little bell at the top, and they can answer your, your chatter. Right, then we have news here, which is where you can sync it to be pulling in news from online. So anything that's happened on Twitter or on Google or any news article, you can pull that in um, and that would work fine. So that's our lead. Um, in this series for our Jump in January, we're going to be going through a whole bunch of different things in Salesforce, but we're just going to do them as small, short snippets. So you can do one a day or one a week or however you want to be you know, working it for yourself. Um, we're going to start with leads. We're going to work our way through the front end of Salesforce. Then we're going to jump into a bit of the back end uh, where you as a Salesforce admin or a Salesforce developer or anyone who's helping to customize Salesforce, you'd be spending a lot of time in that back end part. So I hope that you can join me on this journey. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you've ever been curious about Salesforce, then I think this is a really fantastic place to start. So thank you so much for coming along and hopefully we'll see you next time.